We are talking about summer learning. First of all, I can't believe summer is right around the corner, but we want to keep our kids learning, right? Get those those uh, mental activities, those mental uh, exercises, if you will. So we've got with us today, Dennis Maple. He is the chairman and CEO of Goddard Systems. And we also have Helen Hadini. She is a PhD. So I'm going to learn a little bit more about what you all do. But first, why is it so important or how how, how important is it for kids to learn throughout the summer? Yeah, Jordan, I think that's a wonderful way to get started. By the way, I'm jealous because you're outside and I'm not outside. <laughs> and that's really going to be a focus of what we talk about for our summer programs. But let's say this. Um, you know, a lot of parents that I've talked to recently, uh, family members, they're all worried about the impact of 2020 COVID on the ability of kids to have developed and to have learned. We say, don't worry about that. We, our view is that kids are always learning. They're resilient. They're picking up cues and information from their parents and other adults in their environment. They're learning from their siblings. And the one silver lining for COVID has been that parents and kids are spending way more time together than they ever did before. Yeah. And it's connecting them in ways that uh, parents understand what their kids enjoy, what they like to do, how it's done. They get an appreciation for what instruction feels like from a teacher's standpoint. So this is all great stuff, and we think it's been positive. We also would say that face-to-face -face settings, in-person learning is mm -hmm. absolutely critical. And yeah. so returning kids this summer is going to be, we believe, uh, a significant decision for parents. It's a personal decision, but we think it can begin to bridge uh, the developmental needs that kids will have as they get prepared for fall. And this is important because we want to stimulate through using and leveraging outdoors the natural curiosity and explorative nature of kids. So uh, we're we're just excited about the summer. Well, and I think more more than ever that learning is going to be crucial because coming up soon, kids are going to go back to that more structured setting for school. So, you know, what can parents expect to get their kids ready for that? You know, one of the things to keep in mind is we have this thing we call social emotional and also cognitive development. And a lot of times people try to decouple them and they think about testing and all of that stuff. But these two things are really inextricably linked. And I know that Helen has spent a lot of time studying this and happens to have young kids. I'm sure uh, Dr. Hadani has some comments she'd like to share. Yeah, thanks, Dennis. So it's important to recognize that the main purpose of education and how parents think about supporting their children's learning and development has shifted for many parents. So over this past year, there has been an important shift in the awareness of the critical opportunity to teach social emotional learning in school and at home, and right. also the positive right. impact that increased parent engagement with teachers can have and how critical that is for children's education. So some children and parents may be experiencing some separation anxiety as we send our children back to the classroom, right? This is a very individual process. Um, but Goddard Summer Learning Program provides activities to support children to adapt and adjust in their own way and in their own time to these important changes. Yeah, because I mean, I've taken online schooling, you know, as an adult, <laughs> I would say it is way more difficult to do that and stay on top of your work versus mm -hmm. being in that in, you know, that person to person interaction. I, I, I learn a lot better that way, too. So I imagine most kids do. So what are the benefits other than that, um, that they can benefit from that structure and routine? I mean, what what is good for the kid in that sense? You know, I have I have older kids now, they're young adults, and I can say that as they were growing up, the idea of knowing what to expect and for those things to happen on a consistent basis right. so that they could prepare themselves, anticipate how it might affect them, get ready for the day, get ready for the night, uh, all of that's really important. But I know that Dr. Hadani has taken a more clinical approach and has studied this and, and really has some great insight I'd love for her to share. Yeah, thanks. Another great question. So um, routine, parents can think of routine as sort of their best friend in terms of supporting their children, especially their young children's development and learning. So when children are familiar with a routine, whether that's in your household, like morning or bedtime routine, or in a classroom, they're going to feel really safe and confident and ready to explore. And so involving, also involving children in some of the decision making around that routine can make it more fun for them and also a great 
great opportunity um, to introduce this concept that they have a role to play and that they can drive their own learning. So in Goddard curriculum, we use the term rigidly flexible. And what this means is that it's a balance between providing the structure that children need mm -hmm. um, to feel safe, um, to learn and grow, but also, again, recognizing um, and co being cognizant of the opportunity for children to develop their own voice and to drive their own learning. Well, you mentioned Goddard again and, um, you know, what they offer. So I want to know what summer learning looks like there um, and the COVID restrictions that may come with that. It's a fantastic question. So we recognize there are lots of questions and concerns. And so this year we revamped our curriculum and we've made it age specific. We have two curriculum uh, categories that we look at. One is called In My World. The other one is the world out there. And you can okay. tell just from the theme that yep. it's about outdoors. It's about creativity. It's about exploration. And we think these things are really important. I, I would also say, you know, when we talk about creativity, sometimes we get as adults, we get confused. We think that's only about the arts and music. We think creativity can also be about other more traditional subjects. For instance, if we were to build a ramp, give the kids balls in a circle and we'd say to the kids let's practice and see how high the ramp needs to be how long the ramp needs to be how can we make the balls go slower how can we make the balls go faster we're having fun they're collaborating with their kids i mean with other kids but they're also learning about math and science and, mm -hmm. and speed and velocity and all of these things if we talk to them like that they go oh my god that, that that's not what I'm looking for. But <laughs> I think the, the reality is, is that kids enjoy having a good time. Yes. And when we can combine having a good time with a curriculum approach that's about development, I think it's a wonderful outcome for everybody. I think a lot of people, especially children, love to learn by getting their hands into it. You know, they don't, yes. don't want to just read all day. I mean, I'm yeah. sure there are kids who do like that. But um, where can people go for more information? So, so Goddard school.com is our uh, website and listen on that website we have about 20 videos that were created specifically for these very basic typical questions that parents may have you know how do I get uh, reacquainted with kids going back to school? How right. do I initiate a conversation with my kids about what to expect? What are some of the concerns that I shouldn't have a concern, but I'm not exactly sure where to go get information on? So whether you're a Goddard parent or just an, a, a parent who's interested in learning more, please go to GoddardSchool.com. I think we need this more than ever. With the pandemic, people are, are sick of sitting at their computers at home. So yes. let's get them learning throughout the summer as well. Thank you both so much for your insights. And to see this segment again or get more information, go to firstcoastliving.net.